Hey everybody, in this video, I'm gonna break down an Amazon product page so you know exactly what's happening and what information you need to put in the back end of Amazon. Here we go. All right, everybody, let me jump over to Amazon. Here we go, I'm on an Amazon product page. Now this is a Craftsman cordless drill that's on sale right now for $69, normally $99. So the first thing we have here is the Amazon title of the product. Uh, they've done a great job with this. You've got the brand, you've got the model number, and you know they're not doing a lot of keyword stuffing here because it's a known brand, obviously Craftsman, so they don't need to do that. So very, very tight, lean, and mean. Great job on that by them. Now, when you start to talk about images on Amazon, they say you need to have at least seven images are recommended on the product page. So look, you can see they have multiple images. And just on a side note here, for your main product image on Amazon, what you need to do, especially on the first photo, this is very important, on the first photo, if you actually read the Amazon image specifications, it must be mostly white space around the image. And that's it. And they define white like a hex color of white, like completely white, okay? So if you look at this, there's actually, look, on the first image, it's, it's just a clean product photo. Uh, looks great, they've done a great job. And you don't have to do that on your other photos. So you can see there's a red background with a, a gray kind of gradient style at the bottom. Okay. So make sure your photos on the first one are actually have a white background and they're clean and easy like this one. Okay. Otherwise they won't approve your product. So it's very important. So anyway, you go on. Okay. They have multiple images, uh, some zoomed up product photos. So you know exactly what the drill does and doesn't do. This is, they've done a great job here. And they even have a video. Look at this. They've got Make a video. Make tough work seem easy with the Craftsman V20 20 volt. Video showing how the product works. Again, great optimization of the listing and even a 360 view. This is actually pretty rare. So I have to give it to them on that. Bravo. Now, if you look at this, this listing, as we go down here, you've got different styles. So there's a parent listing and then these are actually the child listings, okay? And if you click on one, what you'll notice here is at the top in the URL, and even if you scroll down, there's something called the ASIN, and I'm gonna highlight that right here. Um, if you click a different version, I'm on the drill kit, if you click a different version, you can see that that ASIN just changed because it's a different product. So that's where you get into parent-child relationships on Amazon which is another fascinating thing. And you have to set that up properly because the information is different. Now, as we go down over here, you can see, you know, obviously everybody loves Amazon. You get all the information that you need, but this right here ships from and sold by Amazon. What that means, I did a video the other day about the different ways to sell on Amazon. This is vendor, okay? Now, what that means is these guys are selling to Amazon in huge, massive quantities in bulk, and then Amazon is selling directly to the consumer. So ships from and sold by Amazon means it's vendor, it's first party. If it said um, sold by Amazon, or excuse me, sold by Craftsman, ships by Amazon, that means it's FBA, meaning Craftsman sent it to an Amazon warehouse and Amazon's fulfilling on their behalf. In this case, they just shipped Amazon 100,000 units and lets Amazon sell them. Okay. So then we have the bullet points here. Now these are very important because this is great real estate to convey your product information. So you can see here, half an inch cordless drill driver with high performance motor produces 320 unit watts out for completing a variety of applications. It's got some different specs here. These are key words, right? Cordless drill driver, high performance, 320 unit watts. So people searching those, you might get a hit on those. So you really wanna make sure that you really optimize these different bullet points, right? And then you can see there's some other people selling on this listing. Uh, Amazon, of course, has the buy box on this one. So 
you know, that's to be expected usually on vendor unless somebody undercuts their price significantly. Now, as we scroll down, this is kind of the main area that most people stay on an Amazon product page. But if you scroll down here, you've got some really interesting things. Frequently bought together. This is Amazon's AI of looking at millions and millions of purchases and knowing that people who buy this drill also buy these other two, this driver set and then this drill bit set. Um, and the conversion rates on that are, are probably pretty good. We don't know exactly what they are, but they're probably pretty good because uh, you know I know most people look at this, I look at this, and if it makes sense if I'm gonna be buying this drill, I don't have any drill bits, I'm gonna need those, so I would do it and convert there. Um, then you can see this is sponsored. That means there, it's an ad, four stars and above. What's interesting about the ratings is that means the average review on a product is over four stars. Amazon actually had a four star store with all the products that are over four stars in a retail environment. So it's very important to keep your ratings high on Amazon. Don't do anything spammy, don't do anything sketchy, but just make sure you're selling good products, you're getting them to the customers on time and the customers are happy and it's not misrepresented. Okay, down here from the manufacturer, this section right here is called A plus content. And look, this is these are just images, but this is from the brand where they can highlight the product, okay? So you've got some more imagery, you've got more specs. Uh, it's a great way to expand the presence of the page because if you scroll down even farther past the A plus content, you have some competitor information. You can compare with these different items, uh, looking at the reviews and then the different specs and what's included with the drill. Um, and, and it's similar across most categories too, right? So if you're selling a different widget, don't worry, it's gonna be pretty similar. And then you can see actually here, sold who it's sold by, Amazon or somebody else. There's so many funny names of Amazon sellers. Sold by We Save You Cash. Are you kidding me? Come on. So anyway, then you can scroll down, you've got the product description. This is kind of funny because this is very short, sweet and to the point. Uh, they're not really worried about optimizing this, so hey, more power to them. And then you have some technical data down here of the exact part number, the weights, the product dimensions, all of the details that you're gonna need um, that's filled in in the back end of the product that you're selling. And of course, the ASIN of this specific product, the rating average 4.7 out of five with 86 reviews, and then category rankings, the BSR, the best seller rank. This is actually an important element because, check this out, they're number three in power drill, uh, power drill drivers, excuse me. Look at this, we can see all of the products that are number one in the category. And there's actually a couple different plugins you can use, Chrome extensions through web apps, that you can estimate what these sales are of these different products. So, really amazing stuff. Uh, there at, that's pulling from the Amazon algorithm based on this BSR. Um, obviously lower is better. If you're number one, you're selling a lot more than compared to 453, right? Um, some cool competitive intelligence data. If you get on a product page, you can see when it was first listed and available to buy on Amazon. And as we scroll down here, of course, got some more information, the video uh, that we saw up at the top and then important information, some other sponsored products relating to the item. Sponsored product meaning promoted, meaning ads. And then of course, some customer questions and answers. Uh, if you had a question about this product um, and you know similar questions by customers, pretty straightforward. Then of course, uh, the holy grail of Amazon, kind of what they're known for is uh, the customer review section where you can look through and read all these reviews um, to make sure there's not gonna be any problems before you hit that buy button. Um, and then uh, obviously the other, other products that these people have viewed. So, and then it's of course loading more and more information down below. So really, really interesting. Um, you know, and I've never seen anybody do kind of an analysis of a product page. So, uh, I wanted to do that real quick. I hope that was helpful. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that. And, uh, if you have any other questions about anything Amazon related, uh, please let me know. I'd be happy to answer your questions down in the comments below and I'll see you next time.